Good evening, TTC. I'm Pastor Cock. I'm a pastor, and I'm a Gamecock. For some reason, I can't imagine why, YouTube's been trying to get me to change my username, but alas, here I am. And I'm here be out of deep concern for the Clemson fan base, and I'm trying to provide them with some pastoral counseling because things have really gotten out of hand this week. Um, I've been reading blogs, I've been watching YouTube vids, I've been listening to radio shows and call-ins, and I've been monitoring Clemson delusion levels for over a decade now, and I really believe, uh, as amazing as it is, I really believe we've spiked and we've hit an all-time high in Clemson delusion. Uh, I've been hearing rumors about uh, them scoring 50, 60 points against us tomorrow night. Uh, somehow keeping us to 17 points and rumors of blowouts and their offense is unstoppable and uh, I really want you guys to understand you Clemson fans that you're going to lose tomorrow night the question is how much are you going to lose by how many points will you lose by it's not about whether you're gonna win or not cause you're not gonna win now, I've been pleading with you guys for two years to just lose by single digits. And I, I really believe if you can go in there tomorrow and you can lose by nine to us, I, I think you will have accomplished something. I think that serious progress will have been made. And I think you guys should take that 10-2 and two record and that nine-point loss to South Carolina and go play whatever ball you're in and move on and, and build on that. Um, however, I, I don't see that happening. I, I really, it's going to be all you guys can do to keep from being completely humiliated tomorrow night yet again on your home field uh, in Memorial Stadium. Uh, I've been hearing some wild stuff about uh, why you guys are going to blow us out tomorrow. Uh, things like Taj Boyd. Taj Boyd's mobility and that somehow that's being discounted or not accounted for and you know I am very excited about Taj's mobility his newfound mobility because that's going to allow him to meet some of our other defenders on the field uh, I would love to see him meet DJ Swearinger out there somewhere and end up on the sidelines for a few ser series because that would allow us to uh, toss some coleslaw for a while in Death Valley. And I, I would love nothing more when we're up, let's say, 35-10 in the third quarter with, I don't know, seven minutes left, for us to get to toss some coleslaw for a few series. That would, that would really be something. And then for Taj, maybe he's got a partial concussion or something. He can come back in late in the third or the fourth or whatever. Uh, and this, this reminds me of... 35-10, seven minutes left in the third, Savage Tiger. What in the world is Savage Tiger going to be doing at this point? Savage, I watched your four-part miniseries, and uh, by the beginning of the second part, I started looking up um, advances in psychiatric pharmacology because I figure you know there's got to be a combination of drugs for this guy there has to be something that can help him but by part three I realized uh, we just need to go old school with this guy we don't there's no, no advanced about it just a good old-fashioned Thorazine injection is what this guy needs so I, I really recommend to you that you get your hands on some psychiatric care um, high quality pharmaceutical Thorazine injection kits and you need to give them to your friends and everyone who knows you and everyone who's around you as many as possible because in that third quarter when we're up 35 to 10 and you're watching your punter run out in the field again you're gonna need one of those friends to bend you over their own front of you and stick you in the ass with that Thorazine injection because that's the only thing that's going to allow you to do the Thorazine shuffle right out of the stadium late in the third quarter. And you're going to need to be patient because it's going to be a big old long line like it was in 2010. Uh, Clemson Tom.
Clemson Tom. Okay. I got to hand it to you, man. Nobody's ever set up more than a year in advance for a game. I mean, I can only imagine the setup you've got going down there at Williams Bryce, but look, you need to focus on this year. Your fan base, your team, they need you this year back in Death Valley. Uh, tear your tent down, dude. Put your generator back in your truck, and you need to make it to Memorial Stadium tomorrow. Your fan base is not going to understand if Clemson Tom's not there. Their confidence is, uh, it may be shaken, which could be a good thing, but more importantly, they're going to need you for consolation after the game, and I, I know you've got the ability to console some of the CU fan base after the game. You've got a lot of connections there and, and a lot of experience. Um, Clemson owns... Now, this guy is something else. This guy's a piece of work, man. This guy actually said that Taj Boyd is going to straight arm Clowney and is going to straight arm Swearinger and just run around and nobody's going to be able to do anything with him. He's going to throw 700 touchdowns. And <laughs> I mean, Taj Boyd is going to put a straight arm on Clowney and put Clowney on his back and run by him. That's really all I need to say about Clemson Owens. Um, poster child Clemson fan. Love his videos. Uh, been hearing a lot about Dabo and Spurrier. Heard some caller talking about how smart Dabo was, which blew my mind. But been hearing a lot of trash talk about Spurrier, um, especially his age. Uh, okay, his age, that, that's wisdom, folks. That's the Clemson fans. You see, when before three years before Dabo was even swimming, uh, Spurrier won the Heisman Trophy. Uh, you know, while Dabo was down in Tuscaloosa sleeping with his mom, uh, Spurrier was leading the Duke Blue Devils in football to an ACC title. And, you know, winning coach of the year and whatnot. Uh, this experience matters. This massive gap of, of experience between Spurrier and Dabo matters. Uh, by the way, Dabo, 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 what, what is it? I, I read an article. I hope it's right because it really solves the mystery. Dabo, that boy, that boy, that boy, Dabo, 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 Dabo. Makes no difference to me. I'm just glad we've gotten to the bottom of it because the, the mainstream announcers can't ever get it right. Uh, Dabo, <laughs> oh, his remarks his remarks have not been helpful leading into this game. I can promise you that uh, Spurrier will have no mercy tomorrow night. Um, there will be no brake pumping. Um, look for an absolute devastating blowout in Death Valley of the Clemson Tigers. Mark it down. We'll win by 17, 21 points with ease. Death Valley will empty out again early. Um, guys, Vegas, they're handing out free money 